Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Alejandra Jorval, and today I'm going to answer a question that I received on my tutorial for the function take. Um, if you haven't seen that yet, I'm going to put the link around here and also on the description of this video. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing uh, if you're finding value in these tutorials. It helps me to grow in YouTube. Thank you. Excellent. So let's start. Here I have the information that uh, I used in that tutorial. And what the function take does, it takes the first lines or the last lines from a range. So the question is, how can I take the 10 rows in the middle of my range? Well, first thing, I need to count how many lines I have because I need to identify the middle of this range. So I'm going to do that here on cell F4. I'm going to use the count A function. I'm going to open parentheses, and I'm using this one because this function will count all the cells that are not empty. And the value I need to select my range, right? So it will be from B4 to B25, close parentheses, enter. I have 22 lines, 22 rows in this range. In this case, it's very small range, but when you have thousands and thousands of lines, it really helps to count in this way. And then I'm going to divide by two. So here I'm going to say on G4, I'm going to say equal, take, open parentheses, the array, the array will come from my range. Uh, that is coming from B4 to D24, comma, I need to provide the number of rows. And the rows, of course, are coming from my function, count A, close parenthesis, enter. Now I have the first half of this range. I have it just right here, which is correct. But I want to bring, I want to take the 10 rows in the middle. So the last five rows of this range are here already. I need to add five more before I remove this. So, so I need to find five more, right? So I'm going to add it here to my count A. I'm going to say this plus five because I need to bring five more. So you can see that I have the last 10 rows of this range are the rows that I want to keep. So I'm going to go here and after the equal, I'm going to say another take. Open parenthesis, I go to the end, comma, and I want to take the last 10 rows, which will be minus 10. If I want to take the first row of one range, of a range, I need to provide the positive 10. But because I'm taking the last rows of my range, I need to provide a minus 10. I'm going to close parenthesis, enter. There you go. We have the 10 rows right here and exactly the 10 rows that I have over here. So now that you know this, now we're going to tweak this a little bit. I'm going to replace instead of having F4, I'm going to double click here and I'm going to select everything except the equal sign. I'm going to control C. I'm going to go here to my take functions and I'm going to remove F4 and replace that with the count B4 to B25, enter. And now we can delete this on the left. And that's how our function take takes the 10 rows from the middle. Okay, I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.